Hello my friend, my name is Galit and welcome back to our creative space. Now before I'll start, I just wanted to say I'm sorry that I haven't uh, uploaded any video last week. It was due to my husband's surgery, he had his appendix removed, but yeah, now I'm back. So today I have another junk journaling process to share with you and I'm sharing the top 10, 11 things that make me feel happy and when I find myself in need for some self-care or mental refreshment. So today I chose the pages I wanted to work on in advance and I also printed out a few images I took from Pinterest and Pixbay. I cut them down to the size that I wanted and just made them ready to work with. So I grabbed a few papers from my desk I really wanted to use this coffee dyed paper, but I also wanted some color, so I ended up choosing this white and gold paper. And I really love the combination of the white gold and the coffee dyed paper. It turned out so beautiful. And I quickly glue everything to the page. I'm trying not to cover too much of the details on the white and gold page because it's very beautiful and I really love it. And now I'm just cutting the axis away. and securing everything down. I have this scrap of paper that I took from a children's book that I found and it called a Year In The Year Miyahu Street by Libby Dawn and it's such a cute book everything is like stitched or covered with paper scraps it's beautiful I found this cute book and I immediately fell in love with it. The story is beautiful and you can use lots of the pictures for scraps. It's beautiful. And now I'm just cutting a folded scrap because I wanted to make a little booklet. And I'm gluing the phrase, things that make me happy, up on the linen. But before that, I like to distress the page a bit and I'm gluing it down so yeah now I'm just uh, rounding the corners on the little booklet and distressing the edges a bit And now I'm bringing back all the pictures and scraps that I cut. And after I chose this, this pink and gold scrap of paper, I glue it down, stress the edges a bit. This is a little scrap with grid on it that I just printed. I'm adding a washi tape just to cover the leftover edge on the page and securing the page a bit more.
now I'm taking the booklet and I want to decorate it and I just took a book scrap and cut it to the size that I needed and added this cute little dice And I'm just adding a little bit of scrap for that I will have some journaling spot. And I added a little tag and the booklet is ready. And I'm thinking you know where to put it. I have this uh, Monopoly money and I think it's one shekel and I added it to the game because it, it reminds me of board gaming. Now I'm adding the typewriter which of course the number one that always makes me happy is writing. And after that is reading. I took this little image of a bookshelf and I just put a double sided tape because I wanted a pocket and I glued it on the little page. And yeah, I will tuck in the little booklet inside the bookshelf. <laughs> I have the little scrap of fabric that I wanted to add. I just cut it to the size and glue it. Now I'm adding the art, which is another thing that I love to do. And I decided to color <laughs> inside. I love to paint and draw and of course I love to write. I also love to play an instrument but sadly I don't get to do that much. So yeah, I'm just gluing everything down and the book that you see is a junk journal. <laughs> I'm adding a tag. I glue it upside down so <laughs> and I'm looking for a label a big label that I can cut and I'm using the labels that I don't like much like the triangles and I decided to cut it down and just use it like that
So now I'm moving on to the next page. Here I added a scrap with the white with the flowers on it, the wallpaper. And I added an image of <laughs> a girl doing yoga. And the rest of my scrap from the coffee dyed paper. And I'm gluing everything down. I just cut the wallpaper down a bit and glue it down on the page and I'm adding a bit of a sticker fabric and I'm adding the image of the yoga and music of course And I'm just cutting the image a bit. I don't know why, but doing yoga always makes me feel better with myself and happier, stronger, and of course, any workout that I do. Now, the next thing I add is food, which of course is pizza and cola zero, mostly. And I added coffee, but I really wanted to add something else, so I took this label, I cut it to the size that I wanted, and then I glued the coffee on that. And yeah, now I have this little shopping bag which for me represent mostly shopping for art supply and junk journal supplies and any form of notebook and art. I love shopping for that. <laughs> now I'm taking a scrap of paper and I'm making a fold out. And of course I'm adding a picture that talks about lists. So yeah, I'm decorating the fold out a bit and I wanted to add a label that fits that area but also has a pop of color. Yeah, I decided on this one with the typewriter on it, it fits perfectly. And it has a bit of a pop of color, but I wanted to add a bit of more color, so I grabbed a small scrap and I just cut it to the size that I wanted and glue it down. And now I'm stapling to the page.
I wanted to find another label so I used another triangle and a small label as well. And I'm looking for another small label and I chose this oval one. That I will put next to the yoga. And I'm adding another image that I forgot. And yeah, this is my final pages before I journal in it. I love how it turned out and it's such a good reminder. I'm using this pen, it says 0 0.4 and I'm starting to journal. This is just about how much I love lists. And I'm just journaling about the things that I need to do this week. There's a bit of glue left on my image of uh, yoga and I'm trying to clean out that glue. Yeah, I'm now I'm journaling about uh, the things that I love, which is yoga, of course, and shopping for art supplies. Here I'm writing YouTube, which I really, really love doing. The next is just about art and junk journaling and painting. And about reading, of course. And here I'm just about gaming and board gaming and just having fun with my family. And of course, here I'm doing a bit of journaling about writing and how much I love it. Of course, food, which is the pizza, coffee, which is an important part of my life. And I just wrote writing inside the typewriter page. So yeah, these are my final pages. I really love how it came out. These are the 10, 11 top things that I love. And of course it's writing. Writing is like air to me. Food, which of course include pizza, coffee, some, some cola zero. And of course reading. A lot of gaming and board gaming with my family. And 
doing art. It is my favorite part. Junk journaling, painting, drawing. Doing yoga, workout. YouTube, of course. Shopping for art supplies. And office supplies. And of course, making lists. So yeah, here are my finished pages. I hope you enjoyed this journaling process video and don't forget to write your thoughts in the comments below and share what is the one thing that makes you happy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! If you enjoyed this video, go watch the video that is showing up on your screen right now to see more junk journaling videos and I will see you next time. Bye!